Hello students, in activity 2.1 isometric sketching, you are sketching these two objects right here that you see. Okay, So you have access to this presentation and what I need you to do is start by clicking on slide 3, clicking on open JS paint. So let's open that link. It's going to open up a blank JS paint uh, canvas on slide 2. We're going to copy the link that's on slide two because it's going to give us this sheet right here. Okay, so let me make sure I copy that. Click copy. You can highlight it, right click, and then copy. Um, or use control C for copy. And then go back to JS Paint. Click on File, Load from URL. And you can press control V or right click paste. Uh, just a te tech tip for all software. You can right click on parts of the software and you should see options. So like here's a paste option and control V. It's giving you the keyboard command for that specific option there. So I'm going to press paste, click load. Okay. Uh, with JS Paint, there's file management. There's, a, there's actually storage. You can store some files in JS Paint. I'm going to click ignore for now and I'll explain that another time. Uh, but here's our here's our isometric sheet of paper with the two objects that I want you to draw. So first things first, click on the A for text tool and then click on the second option, which is transparency. Scroll down, click and drag across the name area and type your name. Make sure you type in all caps. So now then our next step is to click the line tool and click on the medium thickness. We always want to do that when we're working on JS Paint. Okay. Um, before I get started, I'm just going gonna, gonna to plot out some points to help you see and think. Uh, so here in this object, I'm going to put a dot on each of the corners, just like this. Okay. And that's going to help you see the front face. So that's the front face. This dark area right here, that's the front face. And it's made up of one, two, three, four, five, five blocks on the bottom and then three blocks on the top. So we're literally going to move our mouse over here, make sure we're on the black uh, color, make sure we're on line and medium thickness. Okay, So somewhere in here, you know, between on the B, the B line right here, Find an intersection, that's where all the lines converge to a single point. Click and hold down. Move your mouse or your cursor over. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five little triangles or units in that direction. This is made up of one, two, three units tall. So from this point, click one, two, three. Let go. There you go. Same thing over here. So this is made of one, two, three. So we're just going to go around the outside border for this object. One, two. One, two. And then we're going to go from this point to this point. And that's over two. One, two. And then finish up that front face. This is the front face. So we just drew this part of the object okay now we just finish up the rest okay so we're gonna go to this dot right here and go up to so click and drag one two click and drag one two one two so this is one one two see that one two and then this back one is made up of three, three units. One, two, three. Well, this top one is also made up of three. I was looking somewhere else. Just like that. So this the top surface is made up of three by three. Close that up. And that goes down one. So um, I was at that point. So from here to here, that's one. And now let's, I'm going to draw this line right here. So click and drag that line right there. Like that. 
So right here, I just drew that line. Now we're going to draw this line right here and this line right here over here. So click, click. And then with this, this section right here, that's three units long. So from there, I'm going to draw a line that's three units long, three units long, and close that up. Oops, I don't like the way that angle looks. So I'm going to click undo, edit undo. Let's try that again. Or control Z, which I just tapped. That looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And there it is. There's our shape, or our, our object. Okay, so we drew this object in isometric view. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. This object is a little bit more complicated because we have an angle, but don't let that scare you off because it's actually really straightforward. We're going to draw the top and the right, and then these two points will connect themselves. You'll see in my demonstration here. So this is three. This, this line right here is going to be three units long, and this line is four units. So find an intersection, click and drag a three unit long line in the bottom right direction and a four unit tall line. So that's one, two, three, four. And then this is two. So click and drag two. This is going up one, two, three, and then almost a half. So let's draw, let's draw that line. So click one, two, three, and then almost a half. I'm going to hold shift to make it a nice straight line. And now you see that these, this line right here and this line right here, they make a natural place for you to connect those lines. So I'm going to click and connect that line right there. There's the angle. I didn't need to think about it. I just needed to draw the other lines first. So then I'm going to draw that back line that's three units long. This line right here is also three units long. And then close that top surface up. Now let's start with the bottom here. We're going to draw this line and then this line. So click, that's two long. And then this is three long. Cool. And then this front face is a one by one. So one, one. So one unit long, or one unit tall, oops, my computer's doing something. Click, click. Bam, just like that. Okay, and now this line right here, this is gonna be another three unit and then almost a half. So click, go one, two, three, and then almost a half and then connect that point to this point, just like that. And then this corner, you're gonna to connect to this corner, and this corner, you'll connect to that corner. And there you have it. You have your two object sketches in isometric view. What you're gonna do next is click File, Save As, save it to your computer, or another option is to upload it to it. IMGUR or Imgur, and you'll get a link. You can share that link, uh, or you can go to View, Zoom, uh, Zoom to Window, and you can screenshot it, save your screenshot, and send that in. All right, good luck with this drawing.